let's talk about your empty tank of gas in nutrition. Now, we've talked about this in mental health, we've talked about this over in fitness, but your empty tank of gas in nutrition, let's just talk about it. For this analogy, I really like it simply because if we always push ourselves to E, if that, if that gas tank is always on E and we're always pushing ourselves there, man, it gets real easy to just fill it all the way back up and then do the same thing again, then all the way back up, then do the same thing. Yeah, that's your diet. That is the one time where it's more appropriate to say diet, because again, we live lifestyles, the bucking fit life, but I eat really, 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 really good and no. Really, 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 really good and no. You don't have to go to E all the time. Satiate yourself along the way. If you want a cookie or two, have a cookie or two. Not that That's not permission. Okay, Tyler said I can have a cookie or two every hour of my life. That's not what I'm saying. Don't you do that. That was cute. It was cute, but don't you do that. So when we think about it, it's like, no, fill up halfway or fill up at a quarter tank. Just It's just so much easier to go, hey, you know what? Rather than doing what I've been doing and not getting results, like I haven't been getting results, which obviously there's something wrong with what I'm doing or with the, the things that I'm eating, not what I'm doing because, you know, carbs are bad. Bunch of crap. But if it's one of those, okay, hey, I'm at full and you know what? I'm doing really well, really well. I think I'd like a cookie. Have the damn cookie. Boom. You go right back. You know, again, today I feel good. Oh, have a cookie. And have a cookie. Have a cookie. It can just reset that satiation meter that where you're you're not restricting yourself. You're just having less. Try to think of it as, you know what? I'm going to honor my cravings without destroying my car. If you if you got one flat tire, right? Um, this is from uh, I I got this analogy from uh, cuz give credit where credit's due from so he fit. Uh, she is a phenomenal coach um, on the on the interwebs. Um, if you got a flat tire, why would you then go and slash the other three tires on your car? Why would you do that? Well, if you had three cookies, why would you then go and have six, nine, 12 of them? Doesn't make sense. Don't destroy your vehicle. Okay. So if you have, if you have that gas tank, if it's full and you start going to just, Fill it back up, just fill it back up. Now, again, that doesn't mean to overeat. That doesn't mean just give a smattering of pizza every da da da. But rather than, hey, I'm gonna do really good during the week and then pitch it off a cliff on the weekend, stop doing that to yourself. Stop doing that. You're probably not gonna get those results that you keep not getting because you're doing that. So just, hey, you know what? Uh, Instead of pizza this weekend, what if, you know what, let's order a pizza on Sunday night We'll have a slice or two, and then guess what? I got pizza for dinner one day, I got it lunch the next day, I got it dinner the following night, I got a cold pizza for breakfast, anybody? It's delicious, if you haven't done it, please do it. Cold pizza in the morning, uh. But then you're spacing it out. It's meal planning. You're literally meal prepping with pizza. That's awesome. So rather than having two uh, a whole pizza by yourself, or half of a pizza in one day and feeling like crap the next day and then doing it again the following week, just one. You're gonna keep your gas tank full. Keep your gas tank full, team! Come on! My voice is getting high. I don't think about pizza. Yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness whole pizza in my mouth. I haven't said that one yet. I bet you're proud of it. I bet you're so happy that I said that. Should definitely go on the gram. That should definitely go on the gram, yeah. Fill up your gas tank, team. It's not the end of the world if you have a cookie. It's not the end of the world if you have a piece of pizza. Now, if you keep doing it time and time and time again and overconsumption, because we've talked about this with calories coming in, energy going out, like we got to understand we can't eat all of the things all of the time and, you know, not have repercussions. There are consequences to every choice we make, whether they're good consequences or bad. We don't get to choose. Consequences are just consequences. So have a piece of pizza. 
and then move on. Then, you know, go have your, your salad or your chicken sandwich or your uh, breakfast burrito with, without the sour cream this time and maybe a little drizzling of, of dressing or, or olive oil. I, I'm sorry, now I'm, I'm just going back, I'm just mixing my foods up. Uh, have your breakfast burrito with a little bit of salsa and a touch of cheese on it rather than, you know, a bunch of sour cream and a bunch of uh, fatty bacon and things like that. Just manage it. You got this, but no need to go to empty on the tank. If you thought this was helpful, be sure to subscribe. But also there's a lot more where that came from. I created the Bucking Fit Life Masterclass series, which has hours and hours of content covering nutrition, mental health, and fitness. And I want you to head to the link down below so that you can get your free mini workbook that gives you just a taste of what you can experience on the inside. Can't wait to see you there.